going on, everyone? I'm David V. Kimball, and I'd like to introduce you to a series of Project M Nexus videos called Basic Project M Modding. In this series, you'll learn how to make tournament-safe edits to your Project M build. If modding PM is new to you, don't worry. No past modding experience is required to understand and follow these videos. That being said, there are a few tools and best practices you should be aware of before you get started. So in today's video, I'll be covering a few things that you should know. First, you need a PC that has SD card reading capabilities. If your computer doesn't have an SD card slot, you can purchase a USB SD reader, which we've linked in the description. A computer running Windows 7 or newer is ideal, and in some cases necessary, depending on what you're modifying. For these tutorials, we'll mostly be using Windows 10. Second, you'll need access to a Wii Project M setup. This is important for testing. Third, download a copy of Vanilla Project M. Vanilla simply means unmodified. You want Vanilla Project M, or VPM, on hand in case you break your personal build which believe me will happen or you need to reference the untouched files as of this video's publish date the latest version i recommend is project m 3.6 with memory leak fixes which is linked below fourth download brawlbox it's what you'll mostly be using to modify the game as of this video's publish date the latest version I recommend is Brawlbox.77, but we'll make sure to link a new version in the description if an improved and stable version comes out. Fifth, you should familiarize yourself with an image editor like Photoshop. While not a requirement for all aspects of Project M modding, having image editing capabilities is very helpful for creating your own in-game textures for elements like menus, costumes, stages, and character cosmetics. How else are you going to make your disgusting neon green Mario recolor? Free alternatives to Photoshop, like GIMP and Paint.net, will be linked below. Sixth, download this pack of Project M default character costumes. I've assembled it as a resource to easily create recolors of the default costumes, since most of them aren't on the Project M SD card, and it's linked below. Lastly, download a copy of Dolphin, the Wii and GameCube emulator, and set it up to work with Project M. If you've ever played Project M Netplay before, you've likely already used it. This is optional, since it's not required at all for modding Project M, but can be very helpful for testing and capturing in-game screenshots easily. A tutorial for how to run Project M on Dolphin will be available in another Nexus video. We'll link to some other resources in the description also. There are a lot of tools and sites out there. It should also be noted that I've only really scratched the surface of all the tools you could use for Project M modding. We'll be using a variety of tools, including the ones we've mentioned, and ones I haven't mentioned in future videos. Here are a few guidelines to keep in mind when modding PM. Some modifications you make to Project M may not be considered tournament legal, so keep that in mind. Modifications to PM that would result in gameplay changes or remove core tournament content are strictly prohibited at tournaments. Even if your modification doesn't change gameplay, it can still be perceived as problematic in some cases. When it comes down to it, using custom content at all is up to the TO, so respect their wishes. Always back up your work. This will save you a lot of grief if you mess up. Always test your work. Never assume your quick edit won't crash the game, it just might. You can test your build on Dolphin for convenience, but we should be the testing standard. Since it's what you'll be playing on, your build working on Wii is ultimately what counts. And lastly, have fun. There's a lot of opportunity for you to showcase your creativity through your custom build.
there you have it. I hope you enjoy this Nexus series. If you haven't already, I would recommend subscribing to this channel so you can get all the new Project M content we have in store for you.